beginning, that sometimes people think they're acting right. in direction of a cause that they're really not even a part of. Right. I mean, people have delusions of grandeur. And so we have to be very cautious about his represent representations of who he is, right? That, oh, I'm a member of some grand organization, whether it's domestic and foreign, and really where the evidence points. And, and that's what law enforcement is for. But this is, you know, the, the, the debates we've had for the last 12 years about whether terrorism should be a war or law enforcement. I mean, it just is. This is what how it's going to unfold, okay. and those debates are less important than this guy. Julia, we're getting some conflicting reports about an arrest. We have Tom Fuentes with us right now. Tom, uh, can you hear us? You with us? Yes, I can. All right, Tom, yes. what are you hearing? Okay, I have uh, actually three separate sources, but two that are very highly placed and close to the investigation that have just told me that there has been no arrest and, in fact, a suspect has not been identified by name yet, that they have, uh, they're looking for someone, but they don't have anybody in custody yet and they don't have an identification. Okay, now, that would be... You know, we don't know what's right or not right at this point, and as Anderson always says, you don't want to go down the road of speculation wrongfully. But again, to say that they went from spotting someone on a videotape with a very vague description to finding him in such a short amount of time is yes. uh, a it's very right. unbelievable right. thing. It's, it's possible. I know my caution, though. I mean, it is... Look, there's people involved with law enforcement activities. Sorry I've been so cautious, and, and thanks, Tom, for because I was getting a little bit nervous that we were getting ahead of this. But um, my, there's a lot of people involved in the investigation, and, and a lot of people only know some pieces, right? So this, someone may have heard something, and I think, you know, in some ways, just waiting to turn. But, uh, Chris, on your point, this... The, the idea that they went from millions of people, pieces of evidence to a picture of a guy is not bad news. This is good news. Good and, news. That, and then now we're going to have to engage the public or whomever so, else to get the person. So, Tom Puentes is formerly uh, with the FBI. Just, just repeat that. So what you were hearing from three separate sources is that no arrest uh, and they do not know the identity of the person. W what do they have? Well, they have the photos that uh, have been described, and the photos are pretty clear as to uh, what the person looks like. So they have a description to work with and try to be seeking uh, an individual, for sure. But they don't have someone in custody yet, and they don't have the identity uh, yet to, uh, to be putting out. There's been nobody uh, arrested, or, you know, you can, you can parse the wording, whether you want to call it custody or an arrest or detained or any of that. No one has been brought to that status yet where they have somebody that they've been talking to. All right, Tom, you want to bring in Fran? Yeah, actually, yeah, just Tom, one more question. Do you have a sense whether they are going to appeal again to the public uh, for, for to try to help identify this person, or is this something that at this point they, they don't feel that's necessary? Do you, are you, do no, you know? I think it, no, I think that would be necessary, and I'm sure they'll continue to appeal it. And even if they had a suspect uh, in custody, they would still be appealing to the public to get additional information to provide ample evidence or more evidence uh, to support the prosecution down the line. So uh, they would always be continuing to seek the public support all through this process of the investigation. And there's going to be as much or more investigation that would need to be conducted after a person's in custody as much as getting them to the point of being in custody. Right. All right, Tom, let's consider another source. We have Fran Townsend with us now. Fran, what are you hearing? Wolf Anderson, so look, I've been on the phone, as has Tom Fuentes, as you just heard from him. I've spoken to two senior administration officials and another federal official. Um, all have said there isn't, that it is, what Tom said is right, there's not somebody in custody or arrested, um, that the situation is very fluid. Um, they're working closely with their local counterparts that they're working to positively identify the individual who's on these two videotapes um, and that there's, there was a misunderstanding. I mean, I, I, that was said to me, not, that, not so much that we have misunderstood, but that there has been a misunderstanding and lots of cross-communications as understandably as law enforcement tries to work through this, what they've got, who it is, what the, what the purpose of that is and what the next steps are. So 